This is the Wireless Pro by Rode. These are the two lav mics and we have two chargers. Oh, actually these are to connect to your phone. So this is the iPhone cable, which is gonna be outdated in a few weeks anyways. Now this is the charging case, right? So you go ahead and after you shoot, after your shoot, go ahead and plug it in and then you can close it. The case does have a built-in battery, I believe, and it starts charging the microphones when they're in there. When the case dies, you can go ahead and plug it in with the USB-C. Now, let's talk about a few complaints I had about these mics. I had to plug in every single one of these to charge them, and then they all die at different times because I only have one that's actually recording as a backup. Uh, that's actually recording internal, which is an amazing feature, by the way. The fact that they die at different times, it's just kind of hard to keep track of when I need to charge one versus the other. The fact that these are all gonna be charged at the same time is really, really awesome. I just need to worry about charging the case or just plugging it and leaving it overnight after a long day of shooting, right? So let's put that away for now. So first of all, the internal recording, I loved. However, if you're using an outdated version or firmware update for this one, for some reason I couldn't access all of the files on it. Overall, that shoot was really annoying because it took me about an hour and a half and I didn't even get my files. I was able to connect it to my old laptop, which had a different firmware for the actual program, Road Central, and then it was actually able to work and I was able to get all of my files back. Super annoying, that is something that could potentially still be an issue with this one with different firmwares for both the mics as well as the app. Something to keep in mind. Another thing I didn't like about these were the fact that the mics were easily able to be yanked out. And that's something they actually fixed on these pros. So these new mics have the design that honestly should have had from the start, where you not only plug it in, but you could actually screw it in a little bit as you can see there, sort of and then you can't unplug it. Unfortunately, these didn't have it, and I was on a shoot one day, uh, they, my, my client had it in his pocket, and somehow it just got unplugged while they were moving around, and half of my shoe was just not good. I spent several hours having to bring all of that back from the internal camera audio, which was horrible. So the fact that they fixed that on these pro mics, super awesome, I love it, and yeah. Another issue that I had with this one, when I got my new one, I didn't upgrade the firmware. I just took it out of the box and started using it that same day because I really needed it, right? However, it clipped a lot of that audio. Now, it could have been me on my camera settings. I just wasn't paying attention probably. With these new ones, you're recording at 32-bit flow audio, which means that you're never really ever going to clip anything, which means if your client is talking really soft and you need to bring it up in post, you won't have an issue. Same thing is if they're super loud, and right here, as you can tell, I am clipping, these will be able to handle that and you're going to be able to bring it back in post. The next big thing that this also has is time code recording. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I've actually never used time code. My shoots aren't big enough to where I need to be syncing different types of audio from different cameras, but the fact that this has it is super awesome. This is gonna allow you to record time code directly on here and be able to uh, sync your audios much easier. Not a big thing for me, but I know a lot of you are going to enjoy that feature. And then lastly, it's honestly not a big deal or big feature, but um, from what I've seen, you're able to plug this in into a power source to keep the battery running for a very long time. On these older ones, I wasn't able to plug it in because it gave me some sort of static feedback when it was recording and then also plugged into a power source. So I think they fixed it on this one. I'm not sure if they ever fixed it on this one. It's not really something I did often, but the fact that they are advertising it on their website that it's supposed to do that, it's pretty awesome. So another big plus. So yeah, I mean, from what I've seen, I really like it. The fact that it comes with the lofts, um, the, the fact that it comes with a charging case, the fact that it locks. I really love these so far. They're super awesome. If you shoot by yourself a lot, one man army, whatever you call, want to call yourself, I highly recommend you get these. I really like the magnetic clip that it comes with as well. You don't have to clip it on to up here anymore. You can use the magnet and just clip them on here directly. They are going to be in the shot. However, I mean, if, if you're okay with that, that's a cool little feature. Um, but yeah, everything else is a huge plus for me. I really like this. I enjoy them. I'm probably just gonna end up selling these or keeping them as a backup. So yeah, the fact that I have everything for $400, pretty damn cool. If you were to go out there and buy two of these for $300, you still had to buy, I don't even know if they made a case for it to charge them. 
Um, so you weren't gonna have the case. You had to buy two extra loft mics. So $160 plus the 300 just to get these, minus all the extra features that these have. $400 makes it worth it. So there you go. That's my little review slash unboxing of these. If you are interested, I'll leave a link down below where you can buy them. Or um, if you wanna get these, probably they're probably gonna go on sale if you don't care about all the features that these have. Um, honestly, these are really, really good. If you wanna buy these, I'll sell them to you pretty cheap. Leave a comment down below, ship them out to you, I don't mind. Um, yeah, let me know. All right, so here we are a few days later. As you can see, a few things have changed around the room. I was in the process of editing this video, but then I realized that I'm doing a audio accessory review without actually having any audio in there. So this is exactly what this is. Right now you're listening to my NTG4, which is what the whole video was filmed on. And now you're listening to the Wireless Pro. So let me know what you think. Is there a major difference? Can you even tell on YouTube? So if not, honestly, this is a really good accessory for YouTubers. And yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think. Um, I can't wait to look at this and see how, how it is, but all right, let me know if you have any questions, any type of videos that you wanna see with this or really anything else. I'm starting to do a lot more tutorials as well as just, just type, normal type of videos. Let me know if you wanna see anything in particular. Peace.